Good afternoon, Dennis. It is Friday. I had a plan for my video, and I've completely thrown that out because I am I'm mad. I'm upset. Actually, you know what? I'm PO'd. That's right. I am PO'd. And you know why I'm PO'd? Jobs. I can't find one. I just can't do it. I've been looking here for like two and a half weeks, and it just won't happen. I don't understand why. I don't know what people are looking for. I don't know what retail stores want. I don't know why somebody with four years of retail experience and a completely open availability can't find a job in Murphy's World. It's just, it, I, it, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know. Target seems like a place that would take me. I worked there for five years. I'm still technically on payroll, so why can't I just transfer over to this Target? Well, I go in and I talk to a lady who can maybe help me out, but she's going on vacation for a week and a half. So I come back in a week and a half and the day I go in, she's taking an off day. And then I go in today and apparently she doesn't work on Fridays. So when does this HR lady work? I don't know. So I'm supposed to call back Monday. Issue though, rent's due in like today or something. I don't know. I got to pay that and I don't have a job besides like... The mill, you know, I work there, little tiny breakfast restaurant, work there like 12 hours a week, make like $90. So, I mean, that's that's great. That's going to pay my rent. You know, I'm trying to be patient with it. I'm trying to just, you know, sit back, talk to as many people as I can. I went into Sears today because I know a friend that works there. I'm going into Panera later because I know a friend that works there. But I'm just getting fed up with it, man. But anyway, I will stop ranting for a little bit and, you know, try to answer the question that you posed in your last video. Now, for those of you who only watch my videos and not Dennis's videos, which is completely understandable, the question was, why do people still do things that they know are going to hurt them? Let's word that better. Why do people do things even though they know that it's going to hurt them in the long run? I'm not like a brain doctor or anything. If I was, I'd actually probably be employed. Um, but I think... There's two different quadrants in the brain that really kind of control all that. There's a need quadrant, and then there's a want quad quadrant. Now, the size and strength of those quadrants in every person is different. For me, I know the want quadrant is a lot stronger and probably a lot bigger than the need quadrant. I don't know if that's different for you, but I know that this need-want struggle seems to be something that everybody goes through on a daily basis. So, for example, let's just say I'm lactose intolerant. I'm not, though, because dairy ain't got nothing on me. What up? But let's just say I was. And there's these this place, and it serves really cheap calzones. I think you might have gone there, Dennis. But let's just say I go there, and I know that this calzone is going to tear me up inside. It's just going to ruin my life and just... Just make everything miserable. But I'm sitting there and that huge, cheap, three cheese calzone just looks so good. I haven't seen a calzone look that good in forever. And the calzone's just giving me all the love in the world. It's just it's sitting there and it's staring at me, looking at me deep into my eyes. And it, it just, it's just there. And it's perfect. But it's not perfect. It's perfect in every way except for the fact that my inside is going to be completely destroyed if I partake in this calzone. But I'm sitting there and all I want to do is just like hang out with the calzone, text the calzone some, you know, try to maybe take the calzone out to a movie, just be close to the calzone. That's, that's really all I want. I'm not sure if I'm talking about a calzone anymore, but, you know, the point's still there. There's the want, and there's the need, and you know what you should do, but there's that struggle that you go through all the time. All situations are different, but I think the motivation in this need want is the same across the board, whether it's a girl or a calzone or like a big purchase or something. The quick enjoyment, that instant fulfillment, completely trumps anything long term in our brain. As humans, and especially Americans, that quick fulfillment is what we want. We want what we want now. It has to happen now, quick, fast. And we will do anything to get that fast, even if it means hurting ourselves. I think this happened because our mind doesn't fully process the future consequences until those future consequences are present consequences. When we're getting any type of satisfaction, it's extremely hard to look past that satisfaction into the future and seeing that it is not good for you and that you need to stop. This isn't an issue for everybody, though. I struggle with the need want. I know a ton of people do, but, like, look at monks. They're, they're pretty happy, right? They don't need much or want much, for that matter. Why can't we all be like monks? 
So I don't know if that helped anything or answered any kind of questions for you, but I could probably talk about this for a really long time, but my video can't be like 10 minutes long, so I guess I'm just going to stop now. But all this talk about calzones earlier made me extremely hungry. I'm going to go grab some lunch, hopefully get a job, and I'll see you on Monday. My video was over five minutes long. That's crazy. That can't be a thing. We can't be making five minute long videos. I'm extremely sorry, but you want to keep it under four? You think that's good? It's time to have breakfast. Uh, yeah, and it's reckless.